Hi, this is uh, Yuli Percussion. I'm going to be uh, explaining uh, my handcrafted bells uh, made by me 100%. Uh, I have 13 uh, bells, 9 of timbal bells, and 4 of bongo bells. Uh, yesterday I did a video in Spanish, today I'm doing a video in, in English. Uh, I have, to explain a little bit about the bells, I have like in the colors, I have the natural, I have the blue, and I have the red, and I also have in chrome. Now the color don't mean no different from what pitch you want. You can pick any color you want. The chrome is an extra charge because it's chrome, the procedure that I have to go through. Now the every bell of mine are powder coated, which is a... Uh, a lot of people uh, know about powder coating. Uh, it's like a powder that, with, ele with electricity, it gets on baked to the to the um, steel. So you need electricity, and the powder goes onto the steel. Then once the powder is on the steel, they take the the steel and they put it in the oven and they bake it for um, under 410 degrees uh, for 15 minutes, 20 minutes depends what what uh what it calls for. So it's very durable, it's not like can spray. So it's quality uh, quality uh, paint. The color that you see is pretty quality, so it's powder coated. Um, so I'm gonna be explaining about the bongo bells first. I have four tones. I have the high pitch, I have the mid high, the mid, and I have the low, okay? The highs. Johnny Blast signature. It's the high pitch. I'm gonna be putting it facing towards you, your way, so you can see the angle of the mouth and see the difference. That's what make the different tones on the bells. That's the secret of different tones. Mid high. Pocholo segundo. Signature. Ocho segundo. Now we're going to go to the mid. Chrome bell. Mid pitch. Now we're going to go to the low pitch. The low pitch. Now as you see the different, how the mouth on the, on the bells are, that's what make the different tones. Now these bells are handcrafted, so the tone that you hear, it's uh, is the tone like with how I explained. It can vary a little bit higher, a little bit lower, but not by much because it's handcrafted. You know, it's made it myself and any artesano, you know, uh, handcrafter can have a specific bell all the time at that same pitch. So you, it varies a little bit. That's why they're pretty unique having uh, kind of basically a custom bell handcrafted. Okay, I'm gonna be explaining now about the contra campana. Contra campana, uh, we call it contra campana. The reason is uh, to make up. Uh, let's see if uh, we have a gig. You have a gig and you're playing timbales, and the bongo player uh, is not present. And just to reduce the, the group a little bit, the timbalero kind of take over of the bongo uh, sound. So this bell is actually. The same as the bong, the, the bongo bell is just like a, is with a bracket, it's a bongo bell with a, with a mount on it. So I'm gonna, I have two up pitch on this, so I have the mid and the low pitch. So I'm gonna be showing the sound on that one. Mid pitch, contra campana. This also are, are used a lot for drummers, it's used, used for timbaleros and drummers. A lot of drummers like to use it because the sticks a little bit thicker. Okay. Mid pitch. 
the clear coat. This is powder coat. All the bills are powder coated. This is the clear, and even the clear are powder coated too. It's a low pitch on the campana. Now we're gonna go to the cha cha bell. It's the standard cha cha bell. Usually go on the timbal. I have just a standard cha cha bell, so I don't have uh, different tones. This is my main one right now. percussion cha cha bell. Now we're gonna go by these two called the low profile. Uh, a lot of them call the, the half moon because it's kind of like half bell. It's a pretty low profile. I have two here. And the reason is because I have two different low profile bells. I'm gonna explain the difference right now. Okay, this one I call a low pro profile but it's thin in the, in the top part. The other low profile is a little bit thicker, but this one is thinner in the top, white in the front, and it's flat. It's flat in the top, okay? So I call it a low profile thinner, so then I already know and understand it. It's the thin top part. I'll show you the sound of this one. The only ones that are kind of for the drummers is these two, the Contra Campana. And these are also flat on the top. Now this half moon, low profile, has a little curve on the top. It's a little bit wider on the top, and this is actually a chrome one. So I'll show you and let you hear the sound of this one. because of the thickness in the back. Okay, now we have the Contra Campanas. We should explain that one. Now these are the uh, two standard timbal bells. they more standard. Uh, a lot of timbaleros use it. Uh, the difference between the Contra Campana, they kind of look the same, but they actually are not. Uh, this have the, the timbal bell, the original, uh, it's a little bit thinner. And then the bongo bell. Bongo bells usually is a little bit thicker, you know, the material. This is a little bit thinner. That's why you have that unique timbal sound. Uh, this one have a little curve. It's kind of my design is curve on the top. Uh, it's a little bit different than, than some other bells. So it's kind of like my signature. So it's the mid pitch. By the way, I, I use uh, high quality steel. It's uh, made here in the U United States, so I use this kind of expensive, but I try to get the, the best for you guys. So, so these are quality bells. So this is the low pitch. He's got a little curve on the top. So this is the thing by bell. Standard thing by bell, standard thing by bell. Low pitch. Pitch, theme button, low pitch. Okay, you have these two. 
Now I have these two bells right here, which I call Yuli Mambo 1, and this one is Yuli Mambo 2. That's so uh, whenever you want to purchase a bell, you know more or less how to tell me and I, I'd be able to understand. We can communicate, that's the reason why it's this video. Okay, the Yuli Mambo 1, it have the shape kind of like the JCR shape. I have my, my curve is a little bit different on the top, so it's not exactly the same. The sound is a little slightly different, but just so you can have ideas like the JCR shape. Uh, I have one right here, which I'm gonna be comparing the sounds a little bit too, so you can have an idea. So if you see it's the JCR, and this is Yuli percussion number one. So same height, same feel. The reason I did it so you can have that same feel. Now, like I said, my design is a little bit different. You see the mouth is different, but it feels kind of the same. So let me compare these two. Yuli Mambo one. JCR from Cali, que paz de cáncer, rest in peace. Puente style, which uh, LP makes uh, the Prestige bell, and so kind of a, a lot of people request it. So I kind of like made it my style to have the same curves as my other bells. Now the Prestige have a, like a little bit round in here. I did that. It's a little bit shorter. It's about the same size, but I'm gonna show you the difference between the Prestige and mine. So they're not identical. This is the Yuli Percussion too. So this is the mouth. Mine's a little, little bit shorter. This is a little bit more drier than mine's, which are gonna be letting you hear the sound. Put it this way. The same height, same thickness. Now, if you see from LP, the, the Prestige, they have rivets. Mines don't have the rivets, it's a different. So, and the shape is a little bit thinner. Well, let me let you hear the tone. Yuli Mambo 2. Prestige. So that's the difference between the Prestige and mine. That's the reason I guess I can have the same kind of feel, but it's a uh, Yuli percussion. Okay, that's good for this. Uh, hopefully I explain everything on these bells. Now I'm gonna be explaining about uh, the Yulia percussion bracket for the timbal, uh, for Contra Campana, for Charanga bell, for, you know, well, for, for your convenience. It's kind of like a bracket that I made. I'm gonna be coming this way so you can see. Oh, wait, let, let me show you the cha-cha bell. I have the cha-cha bell, I have the JCR. 
two. Cha cha go one second. Just so you can have an idea of the sound. So this is the JCR and this is the Uli percussion. Compare the sound a little bit on these two. So that's the sound, just so, just so you guys can have an idea. Because it's hard when you're not present and comparing, so at least you have the idea where the bells are at. Now let's go back to the Yuli percussion uh, theme body bracket. This is the Yuli percussion theme body bracket. It's, uh, I have two brackets at the moment, but you can utilize one or two, however you prefer. This is more like for it to hold your symbol. This symbol right here is a 16 uh, inch symbol. So as you see the bracket holds it very well. I don't have the thing by tune because I'm going to be doing the demonstration a little bit. But it's a low profile, heavy duty. They got the nut, the wing nut, so you could tight it up, you know, with your stick. That's kind of like the purpose of that. Uh, you have the Contra Campana. You know, like I said, the Contra Campana is the Campana flat on the top. Here's another bracket. So you could set it up this position. Like I said, it depends on, on the percussionist, on the timbalero. Sometimes, you know, you got the left hand timbalero, they will have this bracket on this side. Uh, they will have the Contra Campana, you know. They could have this, you could put this. Let me show you. It's very easy to remove. So you can put it in a position. So if you decide, decide to put it this way, you see it's the tag, you could get it pretty close just to give you an idea where that bill is. Now you still could put this bracket over here, or you could put it on your left hand side too, whatever is comfortable for the for the timbalero, okay? It's pretty easy to remove too, so that was the purpose of it. So you could just take the rod off, the 3 8 rod, standard. You can keep it with your campana, pack it up, and this can stay with your timbal. That's the purpose of it, so it's a low profile, stays with it, pretty heavy duty. Just take that up, and it's, it's not as wide, so it should fit in your case. Now, the Yuli percussion bracket comes with the with the rod. Show you again how easy it is to remove. So this is the Yuli percussion comes with the rod and the clamp. Now, if you want for the symbol, it's not included. This you have to get separately. But you can get it online, it's a pretty reasonable price. You can get it like on eBay for $15. So this is the, the bracket like for the symbol. If you need the you know the part number, the model number, you can inbox me on Facebook and I can give you the information so you can find it. But yeah, this is not included. Uh, I'm gonna show you real quick how it's, uh, I could get this disassembled. It's pretty easy, so I suggest just to untune it a little bit, but it's real easy. These not tuned all the way, so just so I can do the demonstration. So this is usually how it is. This is a Tito Puente thing by, by LP. So that's all there's to it. This is how it comes, the thing by. So all you do is just remove this. You see I made a square hole. The reason I made that square hole is so your carriage bolt, just square right there, would fit right in there. So it won't go nowhere. Plus it's a clean look. So that's all you do, just put it right in here. Again, like I say, you can use this bracket that way. You can use it this way. 
and put the bell facing this way. So that's what's nice about this bracket. You can put it in how oh, it's uh, easy for you. Now, that's it. That's how you assemble it. Now, it only works for these different models of timbales. So, just to give you an idea, let me take it back off again to be clear. See the timbal? It's, you have to have that model. That's the model, the standard of a lot of timbales. Some of them got a curb on it, it's not designed this bracket for that. Some of them you might have this part a little bit lower. It should work because I kind of made a bracket so it could clear that ring, if you see it. So it will clear so you have play to be able to still adjust it for your convenience. Right now I don't have all the models that would have worked for, but just to give you an idea. And that's it for the Yuli Percussion Dimbar Bracket. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you need to get in contact to, with me, the easiest way for me, because I, I work by myself and it's uh, pretty easy, uh, me checking online, so on Facebook. If you go on Facebook and Yuli Percussion, or you can check the YouTube videos um, but uh, you can inbox me on, on my Facebook. Uh, feel free to do your videos when you have my bells and put it on my page. Tag me onto it. So, and thank for your support. It's been going very well. Thanks for you guys. And that's why now it's Yuli Percussion LLC. So thank you and have a blessed day.